Son, what are you doing? You know there is no trampolining allowed in the lab. Yes, I know, but I just thought... No, that but, I... Zond, we have an experiment to do. Yes, I know, which is why... I... Zond, could we please get on with the experiment? All right. Today, we're going to be hearing about one of the most amazing pieces of body kit you've got. Your eardrum. Wow! There's nothing there. You know, it is there, right there, see? Oh, yeah. Now, this one is from a pig. It's similar to yours, but yours is actually a bit bigger. It's called the tympanic membrane, and this is the amazing piece of body kit that vibrates when sound reaches it, allowing you to hear. Let's see one in action. Now, I'm going to use this endoscope to show you my eardrum. Now, remember, we can only do this because we're doctors. You should never stick anything in your ears. If you have a look on the screen, you can see that's my ear right there. You can see that very clearly. And then that goes into the ear canal, and that's lined with a few hairs, a bit of wax, and then that right there, that is the eardrum. The eardrum is only one-tenth of a millimetre thick. That is five times thinner than a sheet of paper, and yet it's incredibly strong. And if I hold my nose and blow, I can make my eardrum pop. Look, you can see it's really stretchy. Well, this part actually works a bit like a, a trampoline. trampoline. That's why I brought it in. Anyway, let me get the trampoline. Now, the bit of the trampoline I want you to look at is the bit that you jump on, the net. It's made of lots of elastic fibres that crisscross, and this makes it stretchy, but also very strong. And the middle section of your eardrum is also made of lots of crisscrossing elastic fibres, this time of a protein called collagen. Some crossing in lines like the spokes on a wheel, and some arranged in circles. So it's also strong and stretchy, just like the trampoline.